good evening everybody we are back again it is friday night it looks like we may have a decent weekend for weather wise being easter weekend so hopefully uh, tomorrow i should be able to work out on the barn all day long let's hope but the reason we are doing what we're doing tonight there let's see if we can get that smoothed out a little bit Tonight we are making water glass so I can make refractory to line our gas forge. Reason being, I have the start, the start of our draw knife here. Another one for a mystery recipient. The recipient will be remain nameless until the last video. But tonight I'm going to show you how to turn cat litter into water glass. And if you do not know what water glass is, it's like a high temperature glue. It's, uh, you can use it to make refractory. We've got perlite, we have sand, and we have uh, sodium hydroxide, which would be 100% lye, which is used generally to clear drains. I'll show you all the ingredients. And I'm going to show you how to do it out of kitty litter. So that stuff you put in your litter box that the cat shits in, I'm going to teach you how to make that into something actually useful, not just a spot for the cat to do its business in. But anyway, you don't want to just use ordinary cat litter you, know, you get something like that it has the uh, silica crystals in it and what's going to happen you're going to have some stuff that's not the crystals but that's going to float to the top kind of like what you get in a foundry when you melt your metal and you get that slag on top that's the contaminants floating to the top this is this kind of does the same thing but you'll see when we get to it i've been scrounging materials for it it's not as easy to find the 100% uh, lie as it used to be if you have a good plumbing supply house near you, helps a lot. You can order this stuff online. See that right there? That is 100% lye or 100% sodium hydroxide. You can, usually if you have a plumbing supply house anywhere near you, you should be able to get this stuff. It's called Glug. It is 100% sodium hydroxide or 100% lye. And that is what you will use for the chemical reaction and also last ingredient besides heat if I can get organized here there we go distilled water make sure you're using distilled water if you're not using distilled water this is not going to work for you all right so my wife didn't want me using one of her nice pots and pans from the house I don't know what her problem is but uh I guess I'll do what I'm told. Life is less lonely that way. Any of you married guys, you know what I mean. So anyway, get the sticker off of here. Ten dollar stainless steel pan down to the local dollar store. How about that? No, I got too much shit in here. There we go, a language again. I'm trying to watch it, guys. I'm actually. I'm actually kind of, I was in the mood for a beer or two tonight, and that is something that is extremely rare for me, but when the mood is there, the mood is there. So probably by the end of this one, it'll be all kinds of rough. And I did promise a live feed for the guys. I said if I was ever having a couple, they'd like to know about it. I don't know why. Bunch of creeps. So anyway, I was wrong on the measurements. It's 200 grams of the lye. To 300 grams of the sodium silicate but let's see what we get here don't tell my wife I'm using her calorie counting scale she'll probably beat my ass that yeah, we're already on grams so get that on there zero our scale out we're gonna add 200 grams of sodium hydroxide Try not to breathe this dust up, guys. Actually, you know what? It would be a smart thing to put my dust mask on, or my respirator. Let that little cloud clear. That stuff is nasty. Nasty stuff. It'll burn you right up. Alright, the... The silica is harmless, so we're going to measure this in and see what we get. We want 300 grams of this stuff. 
So really we're looking for 600 grams all together as we're doubling our batch. Go slow with it. Now this stuff's not a big deal if you uh, this stuff's not a big deal if you have to touch this stuff. Because I'm looking for 500 milliliters of distilled water. Remember, distilled water, very important, guys. Do not use the stuff out of your tap, it will not work right. Now, be aware that when you pour this in, She's going to start fizzing, bubbling, and all that good stuff. Let's see if I can even get you a shot of that. Try not to breathe up the fumes. I may even have to take this outside. See what happens here. Now usually what ends up happening... I can hear it, I don't know if you can, but she's starting to fizz a little bit. What's that Cody always says, it'll give me the fizz. Definitely want your respirator on now. That's why you want the stainless, guys. Now you stir this down till all this stuff is dissolved. And don't splash yourself with it. Anything like that. guys we are pretty well there now you're gonna know when you got it oh it's hot we're gonna burn my damn shop down in the process let's not do that so you're gonna pretty well you know you yeah you're gonna pretty well know you have it 
when you can pull the stick out see if we can get it to do it here see how that kind of starts hanging and hardening up a little bit there that's when you know you got it and you're also going to notice you're going to get a little skim layer on top so what we want to do I'm going to take this outside and we're going to get all this slag crap out of here and then we're going to put this in a jar now we may end up making a we're going to make more of this here just to uh, just so I make sure I have enough for this uh, forge for the gas forge and we're going to go from there this is the kind of gunk that you're left with afterwards from that cat litter but it's actually a pretty good mix that last drop suspends and that's what you want all right so that's what you're left with we'll pour it into there try to get a little more of that slag crap out of there kind of want this as free of contamination as you possibly can guys because you're going to be relying on this to hold heat and to reflect heat refractory it's not so much you want to insulate it, it's you want it to reflect the heat. If you want to get up to good foraging temperatures, same thing with, you know, with anything, you want that heat to reflect. It's more important to get that than, than anything. Now we're just about done skimming this thing off. Just a little bit more. I used to, I still do, whenever I rebuild boilers and put the gasket kits in and all that, I used to get this stuff for, uh, it come in the kit and you'd only use just a very little bit, but now they, they started sending construction adhesive instead. Let's see if I can spill this all over the place. That is water glass. And that is what you'll use to make refractory. It's good stuff. <laughs> 